guys, today I'm going to show you how to make my hydrangea for the bouquet. Um, you're going to need about 20 pieces. Because I'm making the two-toned hydrangea, I have um, two-toned hair. You're going to need my filler flower one template and the smallest size of it, which is a two by two. And then you're going to need about a three inch, three and a half inch, four inch, or whatever size you want styrofoam ball. But because I don't have any styrofoam ball at the time, um, I just made my husband 3D print me a ball, like a half dome, and then a place in the center to stem it. And then if you want to add the gems, you can buy the, it's just acrylic gems that you can purchase from craft store. I got mine from Michael's in the jewelry section. And then you need about 40 individual cuts, but 20 of, of these. So to start, oops, sorry. So to start, you're going to cut out the petal. You're gonna use the, the mini glue stick and then you're going to curl the petals upwards for all four sides and do this with all your pieces. Then you're going to place glue in the middle of one piece and then you're going to glue the other piece on top and just hold it in place. Then now I'm going to use an acrylic gem on this dark blue color. Place glue in the middle and then I'm just going to place it down the center here. And so now you have your flower that looks like this. So I'm going to start with the blue one, but you can have any color you want or you know, you can make it all one color. But since this is two tone, I'm just, you know, choosing a random color. I'm going to start with the blue one and I'm going to place it directly in the center. Like this, and I'm going to hold it in place. And now I'm going to grab a white one, place glue. I'm going to line up these two edges with uh, these two edges. So like so. And then I'm going to add four more white ones uh, to the other sides. Now I'm going to start with the blue one. And then I'm going to place this corner, this tip, into the middle of these two petals. And just like so. And repeat that for the other three corners. So if you're going to make a larger hydrangea ball or even a smaller one, you can make less or more petals. It just varies depending on the size you want and how many petals you want to put into the ball. Also, um, if you say you're making like an all blue or an all navy blue um, hydrangea ball, you might want to spray paint the styrofoam ball in a navy blue color first so that the white doesn't really show through the gaps. But since I'm making this two-tone, I just, I'm just gonna leave it white, which is fine. Now that that first half is done, I'm going to go ahead and continue 
into the next part. So I'm just going to now just fill in the spaces of the bottom part. And I'm just going to align a blue with the white. Just kind of randomly put these in now. stem it. What I would do with the styrofoam ball is just kind of place glue down the center and then I would just shove the stick in and push it in a little bit. And now I just wait for the glue to dry. There you have it. Stemmed hydrangea ball. Thank you for watching.